Welcome to our discussion of concentration. In this lesson, we will define what concentration is and use a variety of different calculations to measure concentration, including molarity, molality, percent by volume, percent by mass, and mole fraction. So while we talk about concentration in a variety of ways in normal everyday vernacular, for chemistry and for our purposes for this unit, we're gonna be focusing on the concentration of solutions or homogeneous mixtures. So in terms of solutions, concentration is the measure of the amount of solute in a solvent, or more, even more simply put, it's the ratio of solute to solvent. So in talking about solutions in terms of concentration, we can talk about them as either being dilute or concentrated. Dilute solutions simply have less solute dissolved, whereas concentrate, concentrated solutions have more solute dissolved. There are actually several different ways of measuring concentration, depending on the type of solution that you're using and what you'll be using those concentration measurements for. The five methods of measuring concentration that we'll be working on are molarity, molality, percent by volume, percent by mass, and mole fraction. So let's start by looking at by far the most common way to measure concentration, molarity, which is denoted by the capital M. To measure molarity, we take our moles of solute and divide it by our liters of solution. So for molarity, what you have to remember is moles divided by liters. And molarity is always in terms of one liter. So for example, if we have a three molar solution, that's three moles of solute in one liter of solution. So let's take a look at an example of how to calculate molarity. So for example, I have 36 grams of sodium chloride dissolved in 100 milliliters of water. What is going to be the final molarity of the solution? Well, remember, our molarity is moles of solute over liters of solution. So let's take it one step at a time. First, we need to find our moles of solute. Our solute in this case is our sodium chloride or our salt. So I needed to convert from grams to moles using the molar mass of sodium chloride. So when I do this, I find that 37 grams of sodium chloride is 0.62 moles of sodium chloride. Next, I need to have my liters of solution. Well, they only gave us our milliliters of solvent, but we can actually assume that our final volume of our solution is going to be the same as the initial volume of water that we started with because we don't expect our solute to change the volume all that drastically. So we can use our 100 milliliters of water as the volume for our solution. But first, we need to convert it from milliliters to liters. So when we convert 100 milliliters to liters, we get 0 0.01 liters. Now I have my moles of solute and my liters of solution, so I can plug those into my molarity formula, which is going to be 0 0.62 moles divided by 0.1 liters. So my final answer is gonna be 6.2 molar. Our next method for measuring concentration is molality, which is going to be denoted by a little m. Don't confuse molality and molarity. They're quite different ways of measuring concentration. So to calculate our molality, we're going to take our moles of solute and divide by kilograms of solvent. So let's take a look at an example of a molality concentration calculation. So if we have 30 grams of baking soda dissolved in one kilogram of water, what is the molality? Well, remember our molality is our moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. So the first thing I have to calculate is my moles of solute. So again, I need to go from grams to moles using the molar mass of baking soda. So 30 grams of baking soda is gonna turn out to be 0.36 moles. And now that I have my moles of solute, I need to calculate my kilograms of solvent, which they've actually already given to us. It's just one kilogram of solvent. So my molality is going to be 0 0.36 moles divided by one kilogram. So my final answer is gonna be 0 0.36 molal as my concentration. The next calculation method we're going to look at is percent by volume, which is simply comparing our volume of solute to our volume of solution in percent form. So to calculate this, we take our volume of solute 
divided by our volume of solution and multiply that by 100 to get a percent. So let's take a look at a percent by volume example. So water methanol solution has a total volume of 50 milliliters and contains 30 milliliters of methanol. What is the percent by volume? So remember our percent by volume is our volume of solute divided by our volume of solution. So this is actually a tricky example because they didn't tell us which was the solute and which was the solvent between water and methanol. So if we have 50 milliliters of solution and 30 milliliters of that is methanol, then the 20 milliliters of that must be water. And remember, we did say that whenever we have a solution made up of components that are the same phase, in this case liquid liquid, the solvent is the one that we have more of, except when water is involved. Whenever there's water, water is always going to be the solvent. So even though we have more methanol, water is still going to be the solvent. So our methanol in this case is going to be the solute. So now that we know which is our solute and solvent, we can fill in our equation. So the volume of our solute is going to be our volume of methanol, which is 30 milliliters. And the volume of solution they've given us is 50 milliliters. And as long as your units match, you don't have to convert to liters. You can leave them in milliliters. So we're going to take 30 divided by 50 times 100. So our percent by volume is going to be 60% V over V. We can also calculate the concentration of a solute in a percent form, but using mass, using percent by mass. So our percent by mass is simply the mass of our solute over the mass of our solution times 100. So it's exactly the same as our percent by vol volume, but instead of using volume as a, our measurement, we're using mass. So now let's take a look at an example for how to calculate percent by mass. So the question is, find the percent by mass of a 0.1 molar sodium chloride solution. Assume the density of the solution is the same as the density of water. So once again, let's remind ourselves that our percent by mass is our mass of our solute over our mass of our solution times 100. So I need to find the mass of our solute and the mass of our solution. Well, they actually didn't give us any of that, that information outright. So we have to derive it somehow from what they did give us. So the only numerical value they gave us was 0.1 molar NaCl. Well, whenever we see molarity, we know it's moles over one liter. So we can take that molarity and we can actually split it apart. So 0.1 molar NaCl equals 0.1 moles of NaCl over one liter of solution. So now that I have my moles of my solute, I can use my molar mass of NaCl to convert to my grams. So if I take my 0.1 moles of sodium chloride, multiply that by the molar mass, I get 5.85 grams of sodium chloride in 0.1 moles of sodium chloride. So now that I've gotten my grams of solute, I can turn my attention to mass of solution. Well, they haven't given us really hardly anything about mass, solution, mass of our solution and certainly nothing outright. So the only information I have about my solution is from my molarity, that I have one liter of it. And they also told me that the density of the solution is equal to the density of water. So right now, all I know is that I have one liter of solution and that its density is that of water, which is one gram per milliliter. Well, remember, density is a great way to convert from grams to milliliters or milliliters to grams, really to convert between volume and mass. So since I have my volume in liters, I can use the density as a conversion factor to convert to mass. So I can convert from one liter into milliliters. So one liter is a thousand milliliters. And now that, I've been, that I'm in milliliters, I can use my density to convert to mass. So one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters times my density of water, which is one gram over one milliliter. And I get a thousand grams of solution. So now, finally, I have my mass of solution as well, so I can plug that into my equation. So for my mass, my percent by mass, I take my 5.85 grams of sodium chloride 
divide that by 100 grams of solution, multiply by 100, and my final answer after all that work is a percent by mass equal to 0.585%. The last method for calculating concentration that we're going to look at is the mole fraction. Mole fraction is actually really similar to percent by volume and percent by mass, but instead of comparing things in terms of volume or mass, we're just comparing our solute, solvent, and solution in terms of moles. So our mole fraction is our moles of solute or our moles of solvent divided by our moles of solution. And we're also not going to multiply this by 100 because it's not a percent. We're just going to leave it as a raw ratio. So let's look at one final concentration calculation example for mole fraction. If we have 294 grams of sulfuric acid dissolved in 1,000 grams of water, what is the mole fraction of the solute? Well, remember our mole fraction is our moles of solute divided by our total moles. So the first thing we have to do is find our moles of solute, but before we do that, we have to determine which of these substances is our solute, our sulfuric acid or our water. And remember what we said earlier in the video that if water is one of your compounds, it's always going to be the solvent. So in this case, our sulfuric acid, our H2SO4, is going to be our solute. And they've given us 294 grams of H2SO4, so we use our molar mass to convert from grams to moles. So 294 grams of H2SO4 is going to be 3 moles of sulfuric acid. So now we have our moles of solute, so ne now we need to find our total moles. We're, well, our total moles are going to be our moles of our sulfuric acid plus the moles of our water. So it's going to be our 3 moles plus whatever our number of moles of water ends up being. So I need to take my 1,000 grams of water, use the molar mass of water to convert to moles of water. So 1,000 grams of water is going to be 55.6 moles of water. So in total, I have 58.6 moles in this entire solution. 3 moles of sulfuric acid and 55.6 moles of water. And 3 plus 55.6 is 58.6. So finally, to finish finding my mole fraction, I take 3 moles divided by 58.6 moles, and my mole fraction is 0.051. Notice there are no units for our mole fraction because it's just a ratio. Well, that concludes our discussion of calculating concentration. Bring all of your questions with you to class.